at the bottom of the first four out as play begins tonight. But as we found out in the last week, a lot can change when it comes to who's in and who's out a week from Sunday. Joe Lenardi told me this morning, NC State needs two wins to be in the conversation. Three wins, and they're in. Danny Dixon, the grad transfer from Missouri, Kansas City, and Olivier Saar get us going. Ron Gruber, Jeff Pond, Ted Valentine on the whistle. NC State won 91-82 three months ago today at the Joel Coliseum. Sean D. Brown, Brandon Childress on the cut. Here's Brown with the right hand. And Johnson could not control the rebound in front of Saar. It'll stay with the defense. Big key tonight for the Wolfpack. They have to defend without putting Wake Forest to the free throw line. Demon Deacons top 10 in the nation at going to the line, 24 attempts. And Wake Forest, one of the better free throw shooting teams in ACC play, their fifth at 74 and a half percent. There's a lob for Saar, it got deflected around. He couldn't control it, and the starting lineups are brought to you by Discount Tire. You see that Kevin Keats takes the nod to the grad transfers, Dixon and Andre. The two seniors, Bryce and Johnson, join Devin Daniels. Here is Pat Andre, who played at Lehigh and has spent one season here in Raleigh. Bryce, the senior. And the rebound for Saul. And for NC State, they got to get some shots up early in this game. Try to get some threes cooking. Wake Forest has to defend the three-point shot better. Great look inside. There's a look at the Deacon lineup, and it's brought to you as well by Discount Tire. As Wake Forest has taken a 2-0 lead on Olivier Saar's basket. You can see the Demon Deacons, the plan. Attack the paint, hit the roll, paint touches, paint points, and get to the free throw line. It's been that way all season long. Dixon floods the lane, gets a good pass and a score for Danny Dixon. Just his seventh field goal of the year. Experience in the middle of the zone. He caught it, Dixon knew right where to go. A lot of guys catch that ball in the middle. They get a little nervous. And Dixon looked calm. Especially on senior night, right? Here's Jacoby Heath. Saar the dunk. Olivier Saar's got a 4-2 lead on Wake Forest ball. For NC State, you're going to be in ball screens defensively all game long. Childress and Saar. You have to stay true to your plan. If you get beat on the ball screen, you got to get help from the weak side or you're going to get dunked on just like that. Daniels. Picked up on the dribble, here's Johnson. Trying to find an alley, could not against Childress. That's a really good matchup, I think, here tonight. Yeah, two of the better playmaking guards in the ACC. Brandon Childress, Markel Johnson. Here is Childress off the Brown rebound. In the corner, needs the triple. Left it on the rim, here's Bryce and State the other way. Daniels, little crossover, and the basket. Neath will be tagged for the basket interference. Devin Daniels ties the ball game. Wake Forest looking to go inside early. A little ball screen and roll on the empty side. That means there's no help. Olivier Saar right to the basket. How about the penetration? Then they find Saar at the dunk spot. Forest defense by the Wolfpack. 4-4, four, four, we played two and a half. NC State has gotten Funderburk into the lineup to spell Dixon. Saar muscling against Bryce has all six Wake Forest points. Saar really likes to catch it low, mid post, face up. Got a beautiful touch for a seven footer. Young man from France, from Toulouse, in Occitani province. There's a lob for Funderburk offline. Here's Childers leading the Deacons in transition. No look to Neath, and he's fouled going to the basket. Free throws coming for Wake Forest. The foul. Will be on CJ Bryce. Danny Manning, year number six in Winston-Salem. Been a bit of a bumpy ride, but Paul, they've showed some bright spots here. I think three of four, including wins over Duke and Notre Dame in impressive fashion at home. Well, Danny Manning told me this morning at shoot around. The energy's positive with the team. They all like each other. They get along. We have great chemistry. He felt great about going into tonight's game. Even though they had that loss against North Carolina, he said, you know, UNC came into that game yeah. not shooting well from three, but they shot well against us. Sure did. How about Danny Manning's list here? One of six guys in Division I major college basketball who were former top five picks. 
pretty strong group right there if you get those guys going down the floor. Yeah, those guys should play in the tournament in the <laughs> summer. Just make themselves a team. Get a chance for two mil. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, I'll coach them. Yeah. I'll coach them, Wes. I bet you would. Wouldn't be a lot. you just sub guys in and out, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's an easy sub. Yeah, it is. Seven to four. Jericho Helms is on the lineup, on the lineup for the first time as well for State. Here's Johnson, a three to tie. For Markel Johnson. You see, Markel Johnson can make contested shots, and Sean D. Brown had the hand up. Markel Johnson has that type of game where it really doesn't matter who's on him or who's in front of him. Last time these two teams played, NC State buried 12 threes. Brown for Isaiah Musius. And he'll hit the fall away. I think that's a big, big key for Wake Forest. Defending the three ball against NC State. Not just the fact that they got 12 last time, but you're on the road, it's senior night. You want to keep that crowd quiet, best way to do that, don't let the ball get in the basket. Big spin by Thunderbird, it's spun out though. Every time there's a miss, no noise from the crowd. Here's Saar for Jacoby Neath. Back for Saar from Childress. Look at the turnaround with a right hand. Olivier Saar has got eight of Wake's 10. And he's four for four. First one right block, turn around. Second one left block. Skilled over each shoulder. Johnson, the three. Out front, Markells. Bang home another one. Why not make another contested three? This time against the seven-footer. My goodness. Pretty fast start here in the opening five. There's Childers on the scoop. Johnson a pull up three. Almost a heat check, coach. It's early in the game, Wes. <laughs> He's got the neon green light. Yep. One point game, five minutes gone, first half. Neath all the way to the basket in the layup for Jacoby Neath. Kevin Keats is going to talk about ball screen defense. Thunderbird tried to string it out, but Bryce never got over. Offensive foul on Bryce. He shoved Childress. Second on C.J. Bryce on senior night. Second on the Wolfpack. We'll take a break. You might be looking at the most improved player in the ACC. The junior from France, Olivier Saar. Back after this. ACC Network Basketball is brought to you by Farm Rich. Right, I got to be careful so close to the deadline of the awards ballot for the most improved player in the ACC, Paul. When he came to NC State, he was, I'm sorry, to Wake Forest, 215 pounds. Now he's 255. He can't be physical with him anymore. Developed a low post game. Back to the basket, face up. He's got counters. Yeah. He's got a great touch, a good work ethic, and does a great job inside of just maintaining and making contact for that low post touch. You can see the improvement, and it's marked this year from last year, both rebounding and in scoring. And a turnover by Wake Forest out of the Bryce offensive foul, and Braxton Beverly bangs the three. 45th three of the year for the junior from Kentucky. That's why Kevin Keats recruited that young man, Braxton Beverly. Was going to Ohio State, that model left. Came to NC State, they won his three-point shot, they got it. Odia Guama from Raleigh back home playing tonight. Missed the jump hook over the top of Thunderbird. So Thunderbird, Johnson, Beverly, Daniels on the floor. And Thunderbird had to reach back and guide that one into the hoop. He had a career game in the game that I called against Appalachian State. Really looks smooth on the offensive end. We know he gives defense and rebounding, but when he can give points, the Wolfpack gets tougher. First lead of the night for the pack. Lucius on the drive. Too strong. And Thunderbird collects. Looked like a pro volleyball game there. <laughs> some athletes on the floor. Thunderbird. Lucius. Beverly squaring for two off the high dribble. Five in a row for Braxton Beverly. All of a sudden, NC State's got a little steam in their stride out of the timeout. Now, you play Beverly for the three-point shot, but he's got that touch inside. He's small, but he can see. Adrian White wearing number 13 for Wake Forest on the floor. There's Musius, a strong shot. Back rim rebound for Johnson. Here's Beverly. Good heavens, catch and shoot. That is 
is eight in a row for Braxton Beverly and a 10-0 run for the Pack, who leads by seven in Raleigh. Jim and Joanne are here to pick. Well, they're coming in just a simple ball screen. That's a pull-up mid-range. But 70% of Beverly's shots come from distance. How about the give up by Johnson? Beverly in transition. He had five, that made eight. Confidence. No question. Travels. The funny thing about confidence is you know when you have it, and you know when you don't, yep. but you just can't describe it. Childress trying to drive Andre. Here's Andre and White attacking. Brandon Childress, a quick catch and shoot. Spins out. Masood there for Wake, but Daniels the closer guy. They doing a really solid job on the defensive glass. Wake's been one and done. And that gets their transition game going. That gets their fast break. And Thunderbolt will draw the foul. Ted Valentine from underneath. And it's going to be on Ismail Masood, 6'8", and a freshman from East Harlem, New York. And the first foul of the night on the Deacons. Wake fans will breathe a sigh of relief there because Olivier Saar has a propensity to get some early foul trouble. He really does. He's got to learn how to continue to play and not get those cheap ones, the ones that put you on the bench for no reason. Helms for Thunderbird, who lost it. Up strong on Saar and then stripped of it by Sharon Wright. Saar did a great job that time, Wes, just walling up, standing up, hands straight up. Wright feeds Saar for the dunk. 10 for Olivier Sard. I don't think he's wandered beyond seven feet. Well, the Deeks are doing a great job penetration. Once they get in the paint, the state has to help. The help comes from underneath. When you help up, offense drops it down. Daniels, pull up. Got it. Devin Daniels, second field goal. We talk about X factors all the time. I think Daniels is a big time X factor for NC State third guard on that wheel between C.J. Bryce and Markel Johnson. He just plays in attack mode all the time, and NC State needs that, especially when they go in droughts. Beverly, back for Helms. He'll fire. Side rim miss for Sars rebound. Seven-point lead. We played fast nine minutes here, haven't we? Yeah, Kevin Keats wants to play fast. Not as deep right now with the roster. Not pressing like in years past, but he wants this game to go up and down without the whistle. Yep. First basket for Brandon Childress, who had his senior night last week against Notre Dame in a win at the Joel Coliseum. And Danny Manning trying to slow the pace down a little bit with that matchup zone. Thunderbird. Nice spin on Saw for the basket for DJ Thunderbird, who has four. Uh, his footwork, zero in the, the white, has been outstanding this season. The ability to catch, locate, and spin off his man. Trying to help now off the screen. Halfway home in the first half, and already 41 points between these two teams. Masood ran right into trouble on the baseline. Beverly left open. 11. Three threes for Braxton Beverly. Wes, that's a shoot around three. Yes, a shoot around is. three means there's nobody covering you. There's no defense. Foul on Daniel. That'll be his first. Third on the Wolfpack. State is five for eight from behind the line, and Braxton Beverly looks like he's in his driveway. 9.32 to go here in the first half. Not sure what the defense was doing, but you can't leave that guy. Red hot, Braxton Beverly. A wise person once said, if you give a man a wild caught. Hot for NC State. He's shooting it deep with range and accuracy. Decides to take the pull up off the ball screen, mix it up a little bit. This guy has had multiple three point shots in 11 games this season, make it 12 games. He's already got three. He's already got his first double figure in his last eight games as well. And I'll tell you what, this ball game's moving up and down the floor with nine and a half to go. Ten point lead for NC State. Sean D. Brown, Brandon Childress, Olivier Saar, Ishmael Massoud, and Andrean White on the floor for the Deeks. And there's Saar with the catch, and Beverly stripped him. 
And Dixon saved it to Johnson. The state got lucky on that one, Wes. No rotation again on that ball screen. They were late this time. He's never late with the three ball. 14 for Beverly. And four threes. Two of them have come in transition, so you got to find him early when the ball comes up the floor. You can't run to the paint. You better run to the line. Here we go. Markel Johnson does not have numbers. Look who's coming to get it. Ten. Now he wants a screen from Dixon. 13-point lead for the Wolfpack. Nice pass for Dixon. Johnson made that look easy, Paul. Yeah, Markel Johnson just operates so well with the ball in his hands, the craftiness, the change of pace, waits for the defense to relax, threads the needle. Number one in the ACC in assist. Masood, back rim miss on the three, Dixon the rebound. Markel with six assists, looking for seven. State's got confidence now, Paul, in a big way, and Brown just dribbled it out of his, up his leg and out of bounds. We'll get a break in the action. Braxton Beverly, it's not junior night, Braxton, it's senior night. And it's deep night. <laughs> Time is now for Kevin Keats and NC State. And you said Joe Lenardi talked about any combination of three, including tonight. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out, but they're off to a really good start with a 15-point lead here, and they're on a massive run, 19 to 4. And Joe said two wins, whether it's one tonight and one in the tournament or two in the tournament, it keeps them in the conversation. Three, no pop the bubble. They got four quad one wins. That's five, should've. and they got one taken away when the team moved out. There's Beverly, another two-point goal. He's got 16. Last year for NC State, they only had two quad one wins, but of course the ACC was better last year. Yeah. And I think the league as a whole has probably hurt NC State a little bit this year, not being as powerful as it was last year. A look at Beverly inside the arc here, Paul. Well, they're pressing up on him, and they left a big gap to the basket. Braxton Beverly played his high school ball at Hargrave Military Academy. Ray W. Hamilton is now the head coach at Eastern Kentucky. Three ball from Childress. He has five. He and Saar have got 15 of Wake's 20 here in the first half. Childress has done a really good job over the years of learning when to score, when to give it up, get his teammates involved. I think his leadership has really grown over time. Here's Beverly under seven to go now in the first half, a 14-point game. Dixon rolls the other way against Brown, and Danny Dixon's got six. Well, six. Usually comes off the bench. Just a glue guy, good backup for Funderburk and Bates. Season high for Danny Dixon. He had four on opening night in early November against Georgia Tech. And he plays hard and physical. You see us a scoop. Recovered Neath. Tried to bounce it through traffic. Scramble out of there. Andre with it. And Danny Dixon got the deflection to Andre. Johnson tried to maybe put one on the highlight reel there. NC State turns it over. Here comes DJ Funderburg and Jericho Helms. Here's the push by Markel Johnson. A little too quick, too fast. Beverly saying, my bad. Keats is saying, that's all right, shoot the next one. Yeah, <laughs> right. Saw the catch. And out of there with it comes Johnson again. Lob for Daniels, who tried to push it in and draws the foul. And out from underneath. The foul will be ticketed to Jacoby Neath. 
It'll be the first on the freshman from Toronto, second on Wake Forest. Devin Daniels at the line. He's 69 percent. First one good. Don't forget Sunday night right here on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. The ACC Wrestling Championship from the Peterson Event Center in Pittsburgh. Coverage of the finals with Sean Kinney and Rock Harrison starts at 7. Pat Papalizio and NC State are the defending champs. It's one of your guys being party. Paisan. They've won the title 16 times and are trying to go back to back in Pittsburgh this weekend. Go Wolfpack. <laughs> I knew the minute you heard the last name, you'd be a fan favorite. Three balls from Brown brings away. A lot of Paisans here in Raleigh. <laughs> Back door to catch Funderburg. Oh, had it deflected. Musius. Here's Wake trying to get an easy one. Childress, some nice feed. Saw the catch. And now Brandon from the corner for a three for Brandon Childress. Eight for Childress. Love the way Brandon Childress gave it up, relocated. His teammate found him. By the way, with five minutes to go, it is of note that we have not seen the ACC's leading shot blocker, Manny Bates, here tonight. He's in warm-ups on the NC State bench. Helms misses the three from out front, and we've gotten word from uh, that Kevin Keats will update it after the ball game. Three ball from the left by Childress is good. Six in a row and a Kevin Keats timeout as the senior Brandon Childress trying to drive the Deacons back in the ball game now trailing 12. Childress can beat you with his assist game or his three-point shot. It's a highly competitive kid. By the way, the base scenario takes the uh, best shot blocker in the ACC off the floor tonight as you see Wake get a kick out three here. I love the way Childress gave it up. Relocated, got it back. Now his teammates find him. As soon as the guy makes a three, Wes, look for him again. He's hot, he's failing it. Brandon Childress can take over this game. Don't forget nothing but net. It's a busy group. We got a crowd in Greensboro. Kelsey Riggs, Kelly Gramlich, Elena Beard, Monica McNutt standing by 10 o'clock tonight. They'll update you on the ACC Women's Basketball Tournament in their quarterfinal Friday with highlights and also a look ahead to tomorrow's semifinals you can see on ESPNU. And then uh, a preview tomorrow, and then they'll go to Chapel Hill where Dallin Cuff and Luke Hancock and Carlos Boozer will join Kelsey Riggs following Duke Carolina tomorrow night, 8 o'clock here on ACC Network. There's another trifecta who could play in the tournament in the summer. Mm. Huh? Cuff, Boozer, Hancock? <laughs> I'll coach those guys too. You want to lay the beard while you're at it too? Sure. Yeah, she could go. Kelly Graham would shoot threes for you. You got, you'd have squad for you walk out of the building tonight, wouldn't you? you six for Thunderbird. You don't get fired for coaching in the tournament. <laughs> no, you don't. Not in the summertime anyway. No, you get bonuses, don't you? <laughs> get asked back. 14-point lead under four to go. Wolfpack went on a run here, just a blitz from behind the three-point line, fueled by Beverly. Childress misses the triple, and Johnson going to stay out of the numbers game. Now, if you remember against Duke, you know, NC State in the last three or four minutes gave up their lead. We'll see what happens. 14 point the advantage now. 40 26 Wolfpack. It all leads up to this thousands of miles of asphalt are reduced to 94 feet of hardwood. A concrete hall is transformed into a red carpet. A court turns into a spotlight. What a big shot. And he's hit a ball that. An audience of 21,000 are witness to 10 extraordinary men. Oh, Anthony showing off the handles. Laura got back and he blocked the dunk. Oh. New Mexico. And the guy in the painter's cap with Jimmy V is DeMatha product. Derek Wittenberg. Oh, wait a second. There he is, Paul. And you won't believe what he made us do before the game tonight. Right? You just have to look on Twitter to find it. Unbelievable. Wittenberg talked us into something again. Had a chance to coach against Derek Wittenberg when I was at St. Louis University. He was the head coach at Fordham. Great guy. 
one of the real ambassadors of not only NC State basketball, but ACC basketball. And the work he's done on the board for the V Foundation, second to none. Andre missed the three from the corner. Yeah, Witt puts his heart and soul into it. Yep, sure does. And when Jimmy V was running around looking to hug someone, he said he was looking to hug somebody, his father. Yeah. I remember running around my house trying to hug my mother and father that day. They said, what happened? I said, NC State won the national championship. <laughs> I'm just doing what the coach did, Mom. He's Italian. Yep. Pretty big three minutes here for Danny Manning's team as Neath cuts one loose and hits. So Kobe Neath's 12th three of the year. He's got six in the first half. Yeah, Neath has played really well the last five games. Ten points a game, four assists per game. Strong-looking freshman. Yep. Had a 10 and 4 night in Chapel Hill, but did have six turnovers against the Tar Heels in the loss to Carolina by 10 the other night. 10 to shoot. They tried the entry to Thunderbird, batted away Musius. And that was the matchup zone again. They changed it on the timeout. Neath missed the driving shot. Wake coming the other way. Johnson changing gears. Saar batted the entry pass for Thunderbird away. Now that's a lazy pass by Markel Johnson. Just that little floater from the top. You want to get that ball into the paint, Wes? Two dribbles and then punch it inside. You don't throw it into the paint or to the post from the top. See, he gets casual at times, and I think that frustrates Kevin Keats and the staff. Sometimes I think he gets casual. He tries to make the home run play. As he stays as a decision maker versus a risk taker, I think his game elevates. He's looking for a screen and Thunderbird. Beverly, did he get tripped by Brown? Ron Gruber says yes. First on the junior Brown from Orlando, four on Wake Forest. But I love his craftiness, Markel Johnson. That time he threw it to Braxton Beverly because the big man was going to slip Thunderbird to the basket. He reads the play before it happens. Johnson to trigger the inbound. Markel cuts loose a three. Just ahead of two minutes to go. Wake trails 11. They're not getting to the free throw line. Still one for two. They average 24 attempts per game. Saar. Three white shirts around. Back to Neath. Nice by Funderburk. Yep. Did not foul and protected the rim. Outstanding. That's post defense at its best. How about Johnson? Almost came to a complete stop. He's got eight now in the first half to go with a pocket full of assists. And when a John half dozen of them. Excuse me, Wes. When Johnson comes over half court, you have to put your body in front of his and keep him out of the paint. He lives there. Here's the steal. Beverly. Back for Helms. Deflected. Oh, wow. Look at Andre. Boy, NC State went. Tried to double down there. <laughs> Got two deflections and figure why not? Let's see if we'll knock a three down. You like the unselfishness by the Wolfpack. And they are really in sync tonight. Not so much defensively, but offensively without question. Markel Johnson comes off that ball screen. Love the hesitation. All eyes on him. They freeze. He takes the step through. I mean, he can get the defense to just look at him, stand up, relax, and then he picks you apart with the drive or the assist. Neath all the way through and will draw the contact, and it's Hellams, sophomore from St. Louis, his first five now on NC State. And here comes free throws three and four, and they belong to Jacoby Neath. Jericho Hellams, he, he gambled on that. He went for the steal, didn't get it. And Jacoby Neath did the right thing. Took it right to the basket. Broad shoulders, strong body. Free throw bounds away. Don't forget, nothing but net. We'll be at the ACC Women's Tournament tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., to preview the semis. And then tomorrow night, following Duke Carolina, it'll be 8 o'clock following the game. And then later tonight, you get Bald Men on campus, which follows our coverage here from Raleigh. Jay, LaFonso, and Seth are at Dayton for ESPN's college game day tomorrow. One show I hope I never get a chance to go on. I think you're in, you're in great shape not to be asked. I think you're in great shape. Markel Johnson out front against Brown, 15 to shoot. 
see Wake Forest now putting Sean D. Brown on Johnson. Bigger, stronger. What a pass! Pass from Thunderbird. Seven assists for Markel Johnson, and that might have been the best one. Never gives up on the play. Markel Johnson plays the game with his head up. His eyes are always reading the floor. Outstanding assist. Eight seconds to go, and Childers trying to make something happen going to the locker room. Jab step on Daniels, fall away at the foul line. Bottom of the basket for Brandon Childress, who finishes with 13. He and Saar have 23 of Wake's 31. It's not enough to catch Braxton Beverly and Markel Johnson in this first half, Paul. Markel Johnson is the key for NC State. He's been outstanding in the first half with his assist game, scoring buckets, and Braxton Beverly. He wants to have a long-range party in Raleigh tonight. 44-31 is our halftime score state because you see they're right around 50 BPI, strength of schedule just above 40. Joe Lenardi's got them first four out. Key wins, the resume, things of that nature. Bottom line is winning, and that's what they've been doing tonight so far, mainly behind Braxton Beverly. Braxton Beverly came into the game the 1650 mark. Wake Forest was up seven to four. He broke this game wide open with the three point shot, mixed in a pull up jumper. Then he started to really get hot from the outside. He was knocking him down in the half court set. Wake for some reason just left him alone. That was a shoot around three. Beverly failing it. It's been a long range three point shooting party tonight for Braxton Beverly. Six for six from the field, four for four from distance. Well, NC State has lost three of their last four, including the 19-point decision at Duke the other night. Wake Forest has won two of their last three, but lost by 10 in Chapel Hill on Tuesday night. So both these schools kind of find themselves in a scenario where, you know, Wake wants to keep building that late-season momentum. NC State wants to keep their postseason alive. Yeah, Wake Forest has to get to the free-throw line. That's how they win games. They didn't do that in the first half. NC State, don't fall in love with that three-point shot now. You can like it, but don't love it. You want to attack inside and continue to score. Jericho Helms fights up through traffic. Had it banged out of there, and here come the Deacons on their first offensive chance. Childress trying to wind through. Now Musius goes baseline. Jeff Pond's got a foul, and it will be on the Wolfpack. And it is on Jericho Helms. The state came out a little sluggish in the first couple of minutes. I thought Wake Forest took it to him. They got some pain points. Right. Olivier Saar was outstanding. And then he didn't do much in the second 10 minutes of the first half. Just gotta get him involved, gotta get him touches. Childress, Musius, here is Saar. Good call, Paul. Right hand jump hook. Fell off the front rail. High percentage shot. That's what you want. Keep feeding that big guy, especially if Funderburg is going to stay behind. First miss of the night for Saar. Daniels a three. And tap follow no good by Bryce, who now scores. First points on senior night for C.J. Bryce. We were talking about that at halftime. Where was C.J. Bryce? Good offensive rebounding guard. He gets them points. Second chance points. Oh, it is a mismatch. He's got to take him. Busey is trying to square on Helms. Now backs him down. And the fall away in the lane. Good for Isaiah Musius. Sophomore Brookhaven, New York, has got his second field goal. Yeah, he's a stretch four. Likes the post game, likes the three point shot, but he's long and bouncy. Underberg the catch up strong and a foul. Either Saar or Musius. And it's Isaiah Musius. His first, first on Wake Forest. Eleventh best free throw shooter in the ACC. I like the way State is looking for fun to Burke. You know, they were patient. They got it to the wing. He set the ball screen. He's a roll guy. Goes right to the rim. He's easy to find at 6'11". We told you at the half, NC State's got some help coming in the recruiting. This could be one of the better senior post guys in the ACC, let alone maybe the country next year in DJ Funderburg. Yeah, they're going to bring in Josh Hall, a 6'9 wing who's uber talented, and a point guard by the name of Cam Hayes right out of North Carolina to replace Markel Johnson at the point.
So they bring in a point and a wing. You got Funderburk inside. Roster looks strong for NC State next year. Sure does. There's Neath on the drive and Jacoby Neath with eight. And don't forget Manny Bates. Yeah, Manny Bates not playing tonight. Uh, shot blocker, redshirt freshman, the ACC's best in rejections. He sat on the bench all night. The word we've got is Kevin Keats will update his status after the ball game. There's Johnson the three. And the lead down to 12, two minutes in here in the second half. Offensive foul, no, a block is called on Jericho Helms, and that's his third. So Helms, who's had a few bouts with foul trouble here in the last couple of weeks, finds himself with three on two quick whistles early in the half, and Braxton Beverly is summoned from the depths of the NC State bench where he doesn't sit down much because of some back issues. He tends to stand off at the end of the bench for Kevin Keats. Well, in the first half, he was trotting up and down the floor, knocking down shots. And he gets Helm spot. He can have a bad back all he wants. If he shoots like that. Sar too strong with the right hand. They're finding number 10 now. Bryce wide open. And Daniels the rebound. Johnson. Lob, Thunderbird fouled. What do you see there? Because we see that play a lot, and it looks like NC State's just missing it. They're getting into the paint because Wake Forest, they're not playing with that same intensity defensively they did in the first five minutes to start the game. Just a simple drive and simple lob. Thunderbird's got to catch it. Sometimes right. you got to catch it when it's up there and finish it before you come down. At 6'11", you should be able to do that. Because me and you, could never happen. No. No. See, that time was, that pass wasn't in the right spot. Markel Johnson put that a little too low. That's why he went over to give Funderburk a little slap. He's got to throw that as high as possible. Funderburk gets it, or it goes out of bounds. Three quick ones. Two quick ones. Three total on Jacoby Neath, and he's out. And Sharon Wright, Jr., into the ball game to spell the freshman from Toronto, Neath. Here is Thunderbird. Three minutes gone, second half. NC State leads this series 145 to 106 as Johnson tees off on a three. Wake was in a matchup zone, and sometimes when you play a matchup, you lose who you're supposed to cover or the area you're supposed to cover. All night, West, that right corner has been wide open for NC State. No communication by the Demon Deacons. Brandon Childress. Ron Wright came in to the ball game in Chapel Hill the other night, hit a long two against the Tar Heels. Shawnee Brown, a triple. Air ball, Sar, the dunk. He's got 12 on six field goals. Sean D. Brown looked a little bit like our man in the stands, Derek Wittenberg. <laughs> Was it a shot or a pass? <laughs> Same finish. There's a lob, and Thunderbird catches and scores there. You see, when you throw it high, the big keeps it high. And then you finish it high. Beautiful pass, great finish. That's the execution that you want if you're Kevin Keats. DJ Funderburg with 11 now to go with five rebounds and a turnover by Wake Forest in the half court. Nine giveaways tournament and they won the national championship. I remember when all those games were on NBC. Yeah. Sure were. Couldn't wait till Saturday or Sunday to watch games. Now you can watch them seven days a week on multiple channels. Yep. But always watch the ACC Network and ESPN. Sure can. 11 to shoot for Johnson. Out of the timeout, Wolfpack with a 15-point lead. Markell trying to take the big man, Sar to the rack. Funderburg wasn't ready for the lob. Two to shoot, Daniels launch. And Musius the rebound. Good job attacking the switch, throwing it upstairs. They got a good look. That's all you want to get is a good look. You don't want to get live ball turnovers and empty possessions. Right with Musius, White, Childress, and Olivier Saw. And that got deflected by Beverly and then knocked out of bounds. And last touch by Brandon Childress. How about Braxton Beverly? Ten Making turnovers, threes. Ten yeah. Turnovers on Wake Forest now. 
Braxton Beverly a little doesn't get a book on defense, but he played pretty well there. You know what happens, Wes? You start making that three ball, start to feel good about yourself. You get a little pepper in your stepper, and now you want to deny everybody. It creates such confidence when the shot goes in, and it carries over to the other parts of your game. The key for players is when the shot's not going well to play well. Bob and a catch for Thunderbird and a foul there underneath. That's what I'm looking at from players in the high school game. When you don't make shots, what else do you do to help your team win? Right. And it translates to the college level. How many times we've we seen this look, huh? Yeah, Funderburg has him sealed. He's done a great job of developing his body, working in the post, and he, he's making contact with defenders better. He's maintaining it. I'd like to see him just demand the ball a little bit more. Like, just, just scream for the ball. You're 6'11". If you scream for anything, people are going to listen. Well, and Kevin Keats said in the preseason he wanted him to be more consistent. Well, he's averaged 13 and 7. Is that I, about right? I mean, a year ago against the ACC, he averaged 9 and 5 and shot 51%. And he's a legitimate one-on-one -on -one low post scorer. I mean, you could get him 15, 20 points a game by feeding him. You just don't want him to be a shot blocker and rebounder. He's developed under Kevin Keats. 12 to shoot. Almost six minutes gone, 17-point lead. And that ball got thrown away again, and turnover number 11. And three straight on Wake Forest. And at the bottom of that pile, the hustle man, the three-point shooter, Braxton Beverly deflects it, dives for it. Kept the Wake Forest player from getting possession. So here is Johnson with Bryce, Daniels, Funderburk, and Beverly. Wake Forest holding on here with 14 minutes to go. Bryce. Pull up at 14 feet. Good. And that's the action Kevin Keats worked on yesterday against the matchup zone. Simple ball screen. Big guy rolls. Corner guy lifts out. You throw it back. Wide open. Largest lead of the night for the Wolfpack at 19. Sharon Wright. Here's Saar on the catch. And one on the Thunderbird foul. This is a great matchup of two of the better bigs in the ACC that may not get as much attention as Vernon Carey or Garrison Brooks. Olivier Saar, the dribble, the gather, the turn, the balance. And he's shooting that over 6'11". Without question, we talked about it in the first half, one of the most improved players in the ACC. I think you can throw Garrison Brooks on that list. Jay Huff, I know you like James Banks. Yeah, James Banks has played well this year, certainly. I think Sar's going to win the award, personally. He should. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really two to one, and more than one category here is Childress off the NC State giveaway streaking to the basket. 15 for Brandon Childress now. Wake needs some stops. They're playing the matchup zone. They got to communicate really well to get out on shooters. A lot of holes in that matchup at times. A lot of driving lines, a lot of gaps. Well, a lot of people talk Monday night about Duke playing the zone, and Kevin Keith said the zone was fine, but we didn't make shots. Tonight, they're making shots. And that zone was a traditional zone. This is a more of a switching man-to-man. -man. A little bit easier to penetrate. Daniels threw it away trying to get a highlight play for Johnson. Eight turnovers on the Wolfpack, and you can tell Kevin Keats is, come on, guys, we don't need unforced errors. Childress in transition. He he can beat you in the up-tempo game and in the half-court game. He is a big-time shot taker. We know he's a shot maker. He plays the game with a chip. He's not going to let his team go down without a fight. Too competitive. Stolen by Beverly. Outlet for Bryce. Now Daniels to handle. Eight for Daniels. First half, Braxton Beverly broke open the game with threes. Second half, he's breaking this game open even more with this D. Denial, deflections. He's been the MVP tonight. And a hand check on Daniels on the midcourt here. It'll be his second. Four on the Wolfpack. Well, 
State's hit it from behind the line, and now they're turning them over. As soon as they get possession, they're pushing. This one's easy. Pretty candid with us before the ball game, talking about, hey, look, we're going to go play. We're not going to worry about all the outside stuff. He said, you know, players today, they know about all the outside stuff. They're too connected, right? The missed shot by Wake Forest and the scramble for the board will belong to Shawnee Brown. You know, Kevin Keith said to us as well, it's like talking to you, it's like a father talking to his kids. You got to know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. Right. And I thought that was a great analogy. Speaking about needing wins to get into the NCAA tournament, yeah. as you mentioned, with social media, the internet, and all the people that talk to these kids, they know the deal. Right. But for Kevin Keats, it's the message that he sends. And what he said today at shoot-around was, hey, this is a great opportunity. Let's take advantage of it. And he kept it at that. Yep. Simple, clean. You don't want you guys overthinking. Bryce at the foul line. Front rim miss. And Andre couldn't corral it. Here are the Deacons. Maybe an opportunity. And they got to get the ball. Childress and Saar has to be involved in every possession in terms of scoring. There you go. Let him go to work. Saar against Dixon. Right hand. Too strong. Andre the rebound. Well, he faded away that time, Saar. He had good position. Good idea, but lost his balance. Dixon oh. powering inside. That's the difference, Wes, between Dixon scoring on Saar. Just took it strong. Put the body into him. And what Saar did is he turned around, which is fine, last possession. But he faded away. You fade away, you're going to miss. Drive by Masood. And every time you fade away, you're not going to get the call. Johnson off the Dixon screen at the top. Trying to put Jacoby Neath in the blender. He's just having fun out there, Markel Johnson. If you don't pressure him to give it up, and he's going to make you look bad. He's going to assist away from a double-double, too. Childress on the drive. Missed it. Bryce out of there with it. Here's Markell. Andre a three. And Dixon's got double figures. Ten for Danny Dixon. His season high was four on opening night against Georgia Tech. Came over from UMKC, originally at George Mason. All of a sudden, Danny Dixon's gone out and had a senior night, or a grad night, if you will. And Braxton Beverly will be the MVP. Danny Dixon, the unsung hero, no question about it, giving some great minutes in the paint. First points of the night for Shondi Brown with 9.22 to go. Danny Dixon, double figures for the Wolfpack, who lead by 16. Rising energy costs are frustrating. Electricity rates continue to increase, and there's no relief in sight. It's also smart to... If you will, can be curious things sometimes, Paul. Here's Danny Dixon, who had not scored in three minutes at Duke the other night, didn't play against Pittsburgh here last weekend, and tonight he's got an NC State high. Ten points. His best game coming in tonight was opening night when D.J. Funderburg didn't play, and he had four against Georgia Tech. It's that senior night urgency. You realize last time we're going to play a home game in the regular season. You just bring a different mindset, a different feel to the game. Dad, Jim Dixon played at Northern Illinois. Yeah. Turned over by the Wolfpack. Brown had a three a moment ago for his first points. Nine minutes to go here in Raleigh. Shondi Brown, a little hanging jumper on the baseline. He's got five in a row. Tell you what about Danny Dixon as well. Without Manny Bates playing tonight, he's been so valuable in this game. Giving Derek Funderburk a spell, but not just giving Funderburk a spell, but producing as well. Beverly missed the shot. He's still scoreless here in the second half. There's Manny Bates on the bench. And all we've been told is Coach Keats will update his status after the ball game. You see the ACC's leader in shot blocks with 82. And man, has he put a number up. Fouls on Andre, by the way. He's getting more minutes tonight as a result of Bates' absence. Five on NC State. And Bates changes the game by protecting the rim. 
And they just it seemed like too, Paul, they had gotten to a point where he and Funderburg were comfortable together for extended minutes. He, Kevin Keats likes to play the two bigs. First points from Masood. But then he can switch down and put Jericho Helms at the four. Play small. Sometimes C.J. Bryce. He's 6'5". Yep. He's got different lineups, Kevin Keats. But no question about it. Bates and Funderburg. Two outstanding defensive bigs. Helms. Back for Johnson with eight to shoot. Here's Beverly. Oh, Helms again. Three from the left. Too strong. Missed everything. And Brown the rebound. Now remember, Sars on the bench here in this exchange. Aguama has come in, the young man who played at Ravenscroft uh, here in Raleigh. Our beg your pardon, Cardinal Gibbons. Those are fighting words. A 9-0 run by Wake Forest and the lead down to 10. A basket by Neep a moment ago and a timeout for Kevin Keats. I like the timeout. 10 for Jacoby's half, Paul. Have Grinded it back to 10 with seven and a half to go and I don't know if Danny Manny's got a momentum switch here or not But Wake may get an opportunity if they can get in a couple more stops. It looks like In the last few possessions Wake Forest has Played better defense. They've cleaned up the defensive glass They're starting to score now with opportunity and pace But it's all about stops for Wake Forest if they can make some stops They have the offense with Childress and Saar 12 to shoot for Hellams. Bounce pass, Funderburg turns, right hand score against the Wolf. Now, I like the way the Wolf Pack are looking for Derek Funderburg. You know, it's easy to look off the big and move it around, drive and kick it, look for threes. Funderburg's delivered. To Kobe Neath, got away with the walk. Childress rimmed out of three. I know Childress has the green light, but that's contested with time on the shot clock. Maybe move it, try to get a more open shot. And we get a foul. Ted Valentine, the whistle on the baseline. It's on Odie Aguama, freshman from here in Raleigh, who went to prep school at Woodstock Academy in Connecticut a season ago. Bryce will pull up. And the quick outlet deflected by C.J. Bryce. I think that hit Kevin Keats, who technically is out of bounds. And I think Kevin knows it hit him, but he was trying to let Jeff Pond know that he's going to keep playing, right? And it's Kevin Keats is an easy man to find tonight. Yeah. Just look at that suit jacket. That is SC State Red. Yeah, and hit Kevin. Oh, yeah. Go pick it up, C.J. Yeah, like it was still alive. I see what he's selling, don't you? <laughs> Deep three. Bryce runs it down. What a job Kevin Keats did. UNC Wilmington. Sure. C.J. Bryce was one of his guys. Great nice. cut. You liked it, huh? Yeah. You got to move. Guys stand around, wait for each other, look at each other. Move without the ball. Bryce bangs the three. He's got seven in the second half. See, Daniels made the cut. Defense worried about him. The ball moved to the first side, second side. And Bryce got a good look. 20 to shoot for Neath on the possession. Jacoby squeezes through, and here's Johnson with the run out. Yeah, four and three. Yep, skip for Bryce. And here's Markel Johnson with five and a half to go. Good decision by C.J. Bryce. Four and three. Became four and four. He backed it out. Now Johnson can navigate and operate. Markel, Lob, Thunderbird pushed it in. Double double for Markel Johnson. He's getting into the paint, Markel Johnson, with little to no resistance. He's got great vision, beautiful touch. Sandy Brown spot up. So Johnson now with 10 assists and 11 points in the ball game. Yeah, setting that ball screen in the middle of the floor and the big for Wake Forest. Not hedging hard. It's not stringing it out well enough. Johnson will score it himself there. Example 1A. He snaked that screen. Wes, and by snake, I mean he made a little S curl coming off that screen. Neath had it blocked by Thunderbird, but Johnson caught it. 
And he was on the inline out of bounds, so it will stay with Wake Forest. And Markel Johnson comes off the, the screen. That's his 10th assist. Big can't come up and help because there's a big guy at the rim. Brandon Childers playing on the side, too easy. So here on senior night for the young man from Cleveland. See, I think you've got to trap Markel Johnson at times off that ball screen. Yeah. I don't care where it is, middle, side, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. You may have to be in rotation, but you've got to get the ball out of his hands every once in a while. Three ball from Brown, good. Shondi Brown with 10, and all of them have come here in the last four and a half minutes. 71-57, Wake Forest. Trying to pick up their third win in four games, going to Greensboro to play next Tuesday. NC State will be either anywhere seed from five to eight as Thunderbird shoves it down. Same action for NC State all game long. Simple little ball screen. Big man rolls, corner man lifts. They have the advantage. They've executed that, that set so well tonight. Quick hitter turned over by Musius. Johnson's got Helms with him. He'll push for Bryce. And a foul is called. And there'll be three free throws coming for C.J. Bryce on the Brandon Childress foul. Boy, D.J. Funderburk just had to hang out at the rack tonight, Paul. D.J. Funderburk, you throw it up high to him. He's a strong finisher. Grad night here at PNC Arena in Raleigh. Markel Johnson, C.J. Bryce, the seniors. Pat Andre and Danny Dixon are the grads. And uh, everybody's delivered, especially the senior Markel Johnson. Markel Johnson delivering assist all night long. Thunderberg has been the recipient inside. Danny Dixon with some strong minutes. Tonight, the senior. 10 points, most of them in the paint, but you throw it high to Funderburg. He is a great lob catcher and finisher. Eight for Bryce, all here in the second half as he goes to the line. 11th double-double of the year for Johnson, who has the ACC's only triple-double, Paul, back on December 22nd against Citadel. And C.J. Bryce missed the second. He'll have one more coming. We talk about the four seniors for NC State. They have 49 of the 73 points for the Wolfpack. Is good, so two of the three for Bryce. And Kevin Keats is going to bring Helms and Thunderbird out. Dixon and Andre will check in. Let's see if Wake has one more burst in them. They have to go hard, they have to go quick. Whoa, Saul really reached back. Made a great catch of it, just missed the dunk. And a foul will be called on Andre. Good aggressive, aggressiveness by Saar. Missed it, went to go get it. Right. That's what you want to see. Seven footer. All right, I missed it. Now where is it? I got it. I got it. Wake's ball. A lot of guys right there, Wes, would have put their head down. Give up on the play. Andrian White. Line drive three strong. 18 point lead against been as big as 19 tonight for the Wolfpack. Trying to find their 19th win. They would finish the ACC season at level par. Dixon blocked off the window by Saw. They trapped Johnson on that and they got the help. Can they get the bucket? Brown airballed it. Under three to go. Daniels trying to find a seam here, and it's Dixon. Fall away by Bryce is good. When you're up big, put minutes to go, that bucket looks bigger. Yeah. 11 for Bryce, all in the second half. The lead is 20, largest of the night. Childress, tough shot. 19 for Childress on his eighth field goal. 
just not enough stops no. for Wake Forest. They and really handle, and you said this earlier, excuse me, did not handle the ball screen well at all tonight. Not the middle ball screen. They didn't stop the dribble and they couldn't stop the lob. You got to take one of the two away. Then you got to help on the other. Dixon's got 10. Skips for Bryce's three. Under two to go now. Here's Childress working. Back for Andrea and White. 15 to shoot from Musius. About 90 seconds to go in Raleigh. White will launch and hit. First points for Andrian White. His older brother Andrew White played at Syracuse. And Kevin Keats going to make some changes, and Chase Graham going to appear for a 12th time, and Markel Johnson's going to get a curtain call here. He's going to get a standing ovation. Well deserved, Markel Johnson. Bryce and Johnson get the curtain calls. Max Farthing is checked in. And so is Chase Graham and Pat Andre and Danny Dixon exit as well. Nice, nice night for Danny Dixon. Fab, yeah, fabulous night. Terrific contribution off the bench. Without Manny Bates tonight, he was ready to go. Yep. Very productive. But we talked so much about Markel Johnson and his relevance in terms of NC State playing well. When he plays well, and tonight he played very well, NC State plays at a different level. He just brings other guys with him. Got Braxton Beverly, a bunch of shots that he knocked down. They got the ball inside of Funderburg. He was fantastic tonight. He controlled the action from tip to horn. Seventh foul on NC State. It'll be the first on the freshman walk-on, Chase Graham. Out of Athens Drive here in Raleigh, and it'll send Jacoby Neath to the line. And Jacoby Neath has attempted all but one of Wake Forest free throws tonight. And that was a big, big key for Wake Forest to try to get to the line. Free throw good. Don't forget, Sunday night here on ACC Network, the wrestling championships. Come at you at 7 o'clock Eastern time. The finals, NC State trying to defend their title a year ago. It's also available on the ESPN app. First one good for Neath. On the one and one. Second one good. And with that, Miles Lester from Wichita and Already Blake Buchanan from Durham, North Carolina has checked in. And we also see Michael Wynn, who is seeing his first action in the last nine games for Wake Forest. So if you're Danny Manning, you got to get your team ready for the ACC tournament. Go back and watch the films against Duke. That overtime win. Show him some clips against Notre Dame in that one. Second three in five tries this year for Chase Graham. Eighty two sixty four. And for NC State, you didn't slip up tonight. You needed this game. You got it. There's a steal and basket by Graham. Holy smokes. No such thing as a bad shot or a bad gamble for a walk on. Chase Graham is living out his childhood dream right here. He grew up wanting to play for NC State. He passed on some low ones and some D2 offers ball to walk on for Kevin Keats. And all of a sudden, his last home game of his freshman year, he's got a three and a breakaway. That smile says it all. <laughs> Come on now, I was a walk on. There's no such thing as a bad shot, bad play. And, and those guys work so hard in practice as a scout team. 
They push the starters all the time. Set the clock here. 26 seconds left, so Lester has come in. Van Beveren wearing 52 also on the floor. Lester, he's a Rice transfer, goes right at Funderburg. The rebound for Farthing and Kevin Keats will dribble this out. Farthing. Farthing wants a crack at it, and that ball got knocked away by Wynn. And time will expire as they chase the loose ball. Kevin Keats and NC State. Get the victory 84 64 that finished the regular season 19 and 12 10 and 10 in the ACC Danny Manning's team 13 and 17 6 and 14 in ACC play our Zaxby's player of the game DJ Funderburg 19 points on 8 of 10 from the floor and seven rebounds for the junior from Cleveland Ohio pack a winner 84 64 Great to be with you tonight, Paul Biancardi. A pleasure. Enjoyed it. Yep. NC State's off to Greensboro. Seated anywhere from 5 to 8. Wake Forest will be in action at the Coliseum on Tuesday. For our producer, Rick Walensic, our wonderful ACC Network crew, West Durham, thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned. Bald Men on Campus follows us next on ACC Network. It's definitely a